All right, this is Jesse Santiago with FMA Pulse. I'm here with Mike Kerubin. This topic is gonna to be covering the Largo Mano concepts and basics. So Largo Mano is the long hand or long range fighting, meaning hit and not be hit. Uh, I'm gonna quote Grandmaster Mike Hiron of Original Hiron Eskrima. He said, Largo is king if you have the distance. So if you have wide space and you know how to use Largo, you can hit and not be hit, theoretically. So, continuing on with Largo Mano, the first basics of elastical Largo Mano. So if Mike and I face off, we're both at medium range, correct? So again, I have right leg forward. Here, he can strike me and I can strike him. So this is medio range. Now the key is with Largo Mano is the footwork. Notice that my lead leg is either gonna go to my three o'clock, six o'clock, or sway, okay? Especially if he's gonna go for my head. So if I didn't counter, he swings, all right? I'm at my three o'clock, he misses. Now that I'm back in medio, he can reach me again, yeah? So from here, he can still reach me. Now when I go much through my 12 to six, he attacks, I'm out of range. But if I go, if I return my lead leg back to the 12 o'clock position, I'm back within striking range, okay? Now when I do the sway, same thing. He, he feeds, I sway out the way, Notice that I just pivot my body and I sway back from here. If I go back and I turn my, even if, even if I just turn my body a little bit, I'm back within medium range and he can strike me. Okay, so swaying, 12 to three, 12 to six. Now when I implement that with a weapon, from here I'm gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna counter his forehand strike with my forehand strike using the 12 to three footwork. So again, he's gonna go 12 to three, I'm gonna go 12 to six, and then the sway. Okay, so notice that I always go back to medial position for basics, so this is stationary. All right, so there is, uh, this builds off into moving in all directions, but due to limited space, this is the basics of doing it stationary. Okay, so again, he measures, he can strike me, and I can strike him. I'm gonna act a split second after he engages. So the first one is 12 to three, 12 to six, the sway. Okay, so that's your basic elasto, elastico largo mano. And then as you progress, and as your partner progresses, then we volley back and forth. Now conceptually, uh, if I were to use largo mano and then counter with medio, which is medium range, if we switch ranges, from here, we're both at medio range. All right, so he could hit me, I could hit him. So if I go from uh, largo to medio, so from long range to medium range, if he attacks, here and I come back in, okay? So if this was a blade, the first one is the cut and then I counter back, all right, strike. So maybe that first strike won't disarm him or won't do much damage, but it's enough for him to, re, uh, to react to that pain. So one more time, I go to 12 to three and I come back and I counter. I go to 12 to six, here, I go back medium and I counter. I do the sway. I hit here and I could hit him here. Okay, one more from a different angle. Again, I go 12 to three, and hit him low, and I go back into medium to counter. 12 to six, I could hit him here, I hit him low, hit him high. So for beginners, hit the limb, hit his attacking limb, and I sway here and I come back here. So notice that he misses, but I get him. Okay, all right, so with basic footwork, for elastico largo mano. Again, since I'm right-handed, I'm chambered up high, but sometimes largo mano will usually leave their stick down here so they could come up with that swiping motion coming upward. So for beginners, again, sometimes I'll teach it forehand high, but for the high advanced ones, they'll come down low and they'll present themselves this way so they can come back with that swipe, 45 degree strike coming up, okay? So basic footwork is from my 12 o'clock, three o'clock, back to center, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, back to center, and then sway and dip so that you're leaning on your back leg and then pivot back to your right leg, weight going forward, all right? So that's your basic footwork. So from this angle, 12 to three, back to center, 12 to six, back to center, Sway and dip, back to position. And then from this angle, from here, 
12 to 3, back to center, 12 to 6, back to center, and then sway back to center. So again, Largo Mano uh, takes a lot of practice and timing and footwork and positioning to get it down. But once you get it, I like it. It's one of my favorite moves to use uh, during sparring. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment box below. I'm Justy Santiago with FMA Pulse. I'm here with Matt Rubin. See you next week.